In this video, we're going to go over how you can create an SSH tunnel so that you can connect to your Postgres database, which is hosted on your Odoo SH environment. You don't have direct access to that uh, Postgres database, but you can create an SSH tunnel so that you can query from outside of the system or connect it to BI tools. And this will work for any SH environment. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have uh, your SSH credentials and a key created. If I click on the SSH at the top of our Odoo SH environment and I go to info here, you're going to see a GitHub link in order to uh, demonstrate how you can create that SSH key value pair and connect it with Odoo. I'm going to skip that step and assume that you already have that set up. The next step is to open up the shell for the environment that you want to connect to. So whether that's your production environment or another environment. So once that shell loads up, what we'll do from here is type in the environment keyword so that we can get our environment variables. So there's three main things that we're looking for here. We're going to look for our PG password, so our Postgres password, which we'll utilize. We'll need our Postgres username, as well as our Postgres database. So those are the three things that we need in order to connect. We're also going to go back to our branches here, and we're going to use this SSH string. So we're going to need our uh, connection URL here. And then from there, we can just open up our terminal. So I'm going to open up our terminal and we're going to run a couple commands here. So first, we just need to create that connection. In order to create the connection, we're going to run this connection string right here. So it's SSH-V-L. Uh, and then we're going to have the port that we're going to utilize on our local machine. We're going to use localhost and then the port that we're going to connect to for Odoo's uh, instance of Postgres which is on port 5432, and then our connection string. So essentially what this minus V is gonna do is just give us uh, or enter us in verbose mode so we can see everything that the connection entails. So we can have a running log that's going to be visible to us. And then we're just going to tell the system to create an SSH connection or an SSH tunnel rather, instead of connecting us to the shell. So all we do from here is just press enter and that should connect us. You might have to enter in your password that you set up during the creation of your SSH um, key, but mine is already saved and the system knows to use that password or use that key rather. So I don't have to do that. So essentially I'm just running this command. That's all we have to do. And then that's going to uh, connect us to the server. And as you can see, we have that tunnel created and it's going to be ready to be utilized. So now that we have that tunnel created, what we wanna do from there is actually connect to the Postgres database. Now to do that, we're just going to connect the same way you would typically connect to a Postgres database. Just clear that out. And we're just going to run this command, which is uh, PSQL, give the, the host name, which is localhost, the port number, which is 5432, the username, which we got from our environment variables, as well as the database that we got from our environment variables. We're going to press enter, and then we're going to be prompted to enter that password, which I'll copy right from here. Just make sure there's no extra space. Then I'll go back, enter that in, and press enter. Right from there, I am connected to um, my Postgres database via the SSH tunnel. I could run commands from here. So if I do select ID name from sale underscore order, we see that we get the ID and name. On my local machine right now, I have a DB visualizer that I'll connect to just as a quick example. So let me open that up. And we'll see that I have previously connected to it, but just to uh, restart that connection here, we have our database type, our database server, which is localhost, our port, our database itself, the username, and then the password. The same way we connected to it on the shell, I'm gonna reconnect right here. And we'll see that we are connected. And we can look at some properties, database info, data types, and we could run queries from here. Now you don't have complete access to the structure, so I can't just click into some of this based on the default access rights that are provided for us via that user, but you can run queries. So for example, if I create a new query here, so I'll do a new SQL command and I'll do the same command. And I'll run that. Oops. Select that database and we ran that. So here we'll see we have two sale orders, sale order one and two, the state. And if we go to that environment, so I have that environment open right here and we see our two sale orders. 
say order one and two. Just as a quick example, we can create another one. So let's give this a new customer. Create customer five, and we'll just add a product to this um, just as a quick example here. And let's go ahead and save that. And then we'll rerun our query on our database visualizer. And we see that's immediately updated with sale order number three here. And again, of course you can query anything you want. So if we wanna do res partner, we can run that and we'll see all of our partners and that customer number five that I just created. So that's how you can connect via an SSH tunnel. Again, that works for um, all SH environments. There might be some implications to connecting this way or uh, some server slow down. So keep that in mind. I'm just showing this as an example of a way to directly connect to your Postgres database. Um, and your connection may time out at times, so you might need to reconnect here um, with your server if, it's, if it shuts off. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. That is the way to connect to your, to your Postgres database via an SSH tunnel and connect to your BI tools.